question we're going to answer today is, to get a consistent coffee extraction, do we need grinders with built-in scales? Hi, I'm Adam. Hi, I'm Victoria. And we are both from the Coffee Science and Education Centre at Seven Miles Coffee Roasters. Grinders. Normally when you're controlling doses in grinders, you control them by an inbuilt timer. But recently, grinders have been coming out with built-in scales to control the dose. And Victoria has done an awful lot of work in this field trying to determine whether or not you actually need scales inside your grinders. I mean, to answer this question, Victoria, who's our food scientist, or I should say coffee scientist, she's an expert in coffee now, um, did a whole bunch of tests with a few different grinders. Um, and got a bunch of numbers and we're able to come up with a recommendation. So, Victoria. Yeah. Um, Here we tested three grinders, two Fiorin Satos, the last yeah. one, the last one, uh, doses by weight. Yes. And they are becoming more popular and they are called as well barometric. Mm -hmm. And on the other yep. hand, we, te we tested the regular one, the F64, the Even, one that yep. doses, yeah, the one that doses by time. Yeah. And we compared these two against a best in class time based grinder, the Anthem yeah. SP2. When you're testing anything, you always have some criteria that you're testing against. So the first one was accuracy, and the second one was consistency. Yeah, you might be wondering what is the difference, yeah, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, accuracy is how close is to a target dose. Yep, and consistency refers to basically the spread of results around what you're trying to target. So if you're looking at a bell curve, curve looks like this, it's how fat or wide that curve is getting. So Victoria, I mean, you're the one who did all the tests. I mean, which which grind was the most accurate? Which grind was the most consistent? Yeah, well, after doing many, many, many shots, <laughs> we got to the point that the most accurate one was the the one by weight. Yes. The yeah, XGI. Uh, XGI. Yeah, yeah, the XGI mm -hmm. was the closest to the target dose. Yeah, absolutely. But on the other hand, the one more the more consistent one was the Amphin SP2. Mm, yeah, yeah. It was interesting actually because actually the consistency of the gravimetric grinder and the consistency of the time-based grinder, both Fear and Zardos, they were actually nearly identical. Yeah, they were pretty spread. Like, yeah, yeah. The doses. Yeah, so that's the thing. So the most accurate was the Fear and Zardo XGI, the, the, the gravimetric or the grind by weight grinder, and the most consistent was the Anthem SP2. I mean, how do these things translate to actually pulling shots? Well, uh, when we are doing shots, the most consistent Doses and destruction was the Amphine SP2. Mm. Yes, the more consistent the dose, the more consistent the extraction. So yeah. actually, you want to have a more consistent grinder generally. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. So then, if you were opening up a cafe. Yeah, I would definitely go for the Amphine SP2. Yeah, right. And that's based on just because of the consistency. It is like, yeah, it's way more consistent. It's pretty accurate as well. But also, you, you have to wonder like how many kilos and if it's worth it like to buy that grinder. The, on the other hand, the regular F64 Evo is like a much, it's a cheaper grinder. About a thousand dollars cheaper. I think. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, it's like almost half price. So it's mm. like, you want to check that as well. So if taste is king, you would buy the Anthem SP2. If you yeah. cared about yeah, return on investment, you could probably get away with the Fiorin Zato XGI. It's actually a very good grinder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's just the Anthem SP2 is, is, is excellent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So there's a whole lot of data that we have um, on these studies. And uh, if you want to, Read a bit more about it and read the data and have a look at the bell curves that we got. So you can find that in the link below. If you've got any questions, comments, obviously leave them in the comments section below or again, shoot us out an email. Um, we're here to answer your questions, so. Bye. Bye, thank you. <laughs>